our chapter for today it talks about curiosity speaking of curiosity what will happen when i finish this water i quench my thirst yeah chapter 8 the art of creative thinking by john adair curiosity is one of the permanent and certain characteristics of a vigorous intellect. That was Samuel Johnson. If you all had been Napoleon's shoe after his sheltering defeat at Waterloo, we might well have lapsed into a state of inward looking depression, if not despair. Not so Napoleon. Following his defeat, he abdicated with the apparent intention of ongoing into exile in America. At Rochefort, however, he found the harbor blockade and he decided to surrender himself to the loyal navy. He was escorted aboard HMS Balafon. It was a new experience for him to see the inside of a ship of the Loyal Navy. The instrument of France's defeat at Trafangel, a year or fewer earlier, an English eyewitness on board noticed that he is extremely curious and never passes anything remarkable in the ship without immediately demanding its use. The inquiring military into the manner thereof. Such curiosity is or should be the appetite of the intellect. A creative thinker have it because they need to be taking in information from many different sources. The novelist William Trevor, for example, sees his role as an observer of human nature. You've got to like human beings and be very curious, he says. Otherwise, he doesn't think it is possible to write fiction. And of course, curiosity is this sense must be distinguished from the sort of curiosity that proverbially kills the cats. The letter implies prying into the other people's mind in an objectable or intru intrusive way, or mending into their personal affairs. True, curiosity is simply the eager desire to learn and know. True curiosity is simply the eager desire to learn and know. Such disinterested intellectual curiosity can become habitual. Leonardo da Vinci's motto was, I question. To be an inventor is an electric sort of life, says Sir Cleve Sinclair. You've got to know about a lot of different subjects in different ways, so you can have to teach yourself what you want to know. I don't think university is much of help if you want to be an inventor. And that's all I ever wanted. One of the prime aims of education it could be argued is to develop such an inquisitive mind. The, the whole art of teaching, wrote Anatole France, is only the art of awakening the natural curiosity of young minds for the purpose of satisfying it afterwards. Curiosa and curiosa cried alliance in wonderland too often is only something curious rare or strange 
that arouses our curiosity. But what excites attention, Mary, because it is strange or old, is often not worth any further investigation. We do have to be selective in our curiosity. Very selective. You don't you can't just be curious what is in the snake's mouth, you know. Venom. There is a story about a young officer of whom it was said his men will follow him anywhere. Out of sense of curiosity. In creative thinking, curiosity about what will happen next is an important integrity ingredient in motivation. Writing in the Guardian or Guardian in March 1979, Ken Rothward makes that point. Creative activity agonizing, though it may be at times, is essentially life enhancing. Often joyful, and this can be judged not from the fixed smile worn by models advertising power told by the next extent to which the individual is seriously engrossed in his activity outside making love men and women never feel better than when they are totally engaged in exploration or construction especially when the motivation is simply i wonder what will happen if i do this in other words it is not simply a case of being curious in order to gather information the raw material of creative thought rather creative thinking is itself a way of learning something new you are not quite sure where you train of your thought We lead you. So, there's a connection between thinking and learning and rather trying to teach oneself. Thinking is trying to make up the gap in one's education, writes the philosopher, the philosopher Gilbert Rail in On Thinking, 1979. It is not, of course, a matter of teaching yourself something that you want to know. You cannot teach it because you do not know. It's what I'm trying to think out of for myself is indeed something that the angel Gabriel Convisible might have known and taught me instead. Continues well, but it is something that no one in fact did teach me that is why i have to think i swim because i'm not a passenger on someone else's ferry boat i think as i swim for myself no one else could do this for me swim for yourself that is about curiosity and straight we head up to our key point number one curiosity is essentially the eager desire to see learn or know it is the mind on tippy toe number three creative thinkers tend to have a habit of curiosity which leads them to give searching attention to what interests them Number four or number three, thinking is a way of trying to find out for yourself. You can imagine if someone asks you, don't you think for yourself? Matusi <laughs> kabambe. If you always knew where it was taking you there, it's taking you there, you'll be nothing to be curious about. There will be nothing to be curious about. If you always knew where it was taking you, there will be nothing to be curious about. Wow. That takes us to chapter 9. Keep your eyes open. Very open. 
you need to notice things as they happen or rather how they keep happening we're gonna hear from chapter 9 next time happy valentine's wapenzi watazamaji it's been a minute michael ngoge minor peace